I felt that after two films worth of bumping into doors, by now I should know where the doors are, um, <laughs> and the elevators, and uh, the street crossings. Uh, it's a bore to watch somebody be a classic. So that was Christopher Reeve giving an interview from a long, long time ago, talking about how much he disliked playing that bumbling Clark Kent in the Superman movies that everyone loved. And here's how the Avengers Endgame writers are talking about Superman in 2019. So they were giving an interview to Screen Rant uh, at Comic-Con and uh, Screen Rant decided to ask them a really dumb question. They need something, they need several headlines coming out of this interview. So they asked them, you know, which DC superhero they'd like to tackle. Uh, and uh, McFeely gave a response, he says, I mean, I think Captain America shows there are certainly ways to do a really good Superman movie in this day. I don't think so, we've already got a great Superman film, it's called Man of Steel. You don't have to dirty him up. I don't remember, I, I don't think Zack Snyder dirtied him up. Uh, you don't have to dirty him up, you don't have to get rid of his earnestness. Give me a break. The Christopher Reeves Superman is one of my favourite movies, so that's one we certainly borrow from all the time. And that sounds familiar. And of course, in particular, Superman the movie. And we watch it before we make almost any one of our films. So yeah, you've got Kevin Feige and you've got the writers, I think the Russo brothers have said it themselves as well. All they're doing is copying the old Superman movies. The ones that even Christopher Reeve got tired of starring in. And here's the director of the original Superman films, Richard Donner, his advice to Zack Snyder regarding Superman. He said, it's going to be really tough on Henry, uh, but he's a wonderful actor and is a great director working with him. I think they'll do a sensational job because I truly believe their dedication to the product is honest. That film that they're making, they believe in it, and that's all you need. A good director, and to believe in your project, you can't ask for more. And this is the most important part. It says, I look to them to show me something new and something different. I played it like the ultimate migraine headache. You know, there's this demon within him. And the demon within him is the good Clark Kent, who is like the albatross around his neck. You know, this, this guy who limits him, this guy, this, this fool that he has to act, this glasses, this thing. And, and Clark Kent, evil Superman, is a demon within, within him. So that's Christopher Reeve talking about inner demons, conflicts. But no, it's okay. Kevin Feige, the Russo brothers, and the writers of Endgame, they know better. We've had a long history in comedy with comedy, the comedy, comedic statement, comedic moment is funnier than it. The fun thing of casual, non-serious, funny. Of course, says so a comedy and act. The most fun version. It's been a really fun experiment. You know, com com a lot of comedy is. There's, there's going to be a lot of uh, humor mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of quirky uh, interaction. So. They can barely write a, a, a competent time travel script, right, for their Avengers Endgame, and they think they know how to fix Superman. Superman doesn't need fixing from these guys, but if he does need fixing, there's only one man for the job. But let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. Click that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more of these kind of videos. Why not check out these other videos in the meantime? But until next time, I'm Shaker, and I will catch you later.